to David Doll Flawless. In today's video, I have a project share, and this is a easel card, and I've just been loving easel cards lately. And this is actually an SVG file that I purchased from Nicole's Paper Crafts on Etsy, and she is known as Nicole Silhouette on YouTube. We are all familiar with her for the most part, but if you have not heard from her or heard of her, then those are her handles on her social medias. So I purchased it from her Etsy store and I did do a little bit of my own thing, I guess you could say, because the way she has it, it is set to be an SVG file, but I have these easel card dies and I accidentally bent the middle from Maggie, um, not Maggie Holmes, from Anna Griffin, excuse me. And there's two different styles for the easel card die. So I went ahead and cut out some rose gold foil and that's what I used for my easel card. Now I used the Flourish collection and I made this to go with one of her other files that I've already posted a video on. And then I took this bow right here, which is from My Creative Time. I added that, this flower, and then I used some of my seam binding and I purchased my seam binding off of Etsy from my scrap cabin. And then that's what I used as like my little tails of my bow and decorative accents for the hat portion of my um, top part. And then I believe I stated it already, but the collection that I used, if you're not familiar with it, is Maggie Holmes. Now for the bottom portion, I did go ahead and go in with some other dies that I have in my collection. And then I put this stamped sentiment and I believe this sentiment is also from crafters companion and it's from their vintage lace i believe so this says sending these wishes just for you to hope that all your dreams come true and then i made sure to accent the collection with purple which is like my favorite color i'm still debating on whether or not i want to send this off or keep it i've been trying to make things for myself but then this is like so pretty i kind of do want to gift it <laughs> to someone but these will make awesome um mother's day cards i know we're all familiar with the hat easel cards but again it just depends on what you have readily available to you and all you really need are nesting dies but if you're like me and you have an electronic cutting machine it's always helpful to have the um actual cut files because you know you can always tweak them for what you want and this did not take long to put together at all it was pretty easy and straightforward and then you obviously have a plethora of options to personalize this so i will have the link to nicole's etsy shop below please be sure to comment like and subscribe and if you have any questions let me know and i will see you all in the next video as always and until next time have a great day, Dow Smooches. Mwah. Bye.